All right, a push plus or a push up plus, what we're going for is just movement of the shoulder with the elbows locked out from the side. That is that. But we're gonna load it with body weight. So from the front, hands can be elevated just starting out. Plank position and the shoulders go over your hands placed on the floor or the box, whatever you're doing it as. From here, we're sagging down, squeezing back up. So sagging down, elbows not bending, right? None of that. Sag down, all the way back up. You'll feel this a little deeper into the shoulder, also with some assistance from lats and pec, but that is a great start. From the side, so your plank position, rigid body, shoulders are over the hands, sag down, push up, sag down, push up. A dynamic component you can add to your push plus is going to be a hip march or something that makes the plank a little more challenging but because the shoulders are engaged it's also making them work to stabilize the body. So, shoulders over the hands again. We're doing the position where you are utilizing that top portion of the move. So, sag here, use the rotator cuff to get you up here. Good, now that you're here, we're going to hip march. Alternating. So, changing weight from foot to foot is making us have to utilize the shoulders as the body sort of changes where the pressure is going through it. From the side, shoulders again are over the hands. We're gonna sag, but now activate everything into the position so you're tight and able to maintain that rigid body. Then we're going to hip march. Something that will fatigue the muscle groups that you're using in the shoulders, so you will feel that, but also because you're doing a dynamic plank, core work's gonna feel it as well. 